Howdy, y'all. I'm here on a Sunday, a faithful Sunday, coming to you from the Faithful Studios. I am Tyson, and if you like beard products, beard reviews, learning about new companies, taking care of your man-made tips, tricks, and all the above, you're in the right place, so hit that subscribe button. If you've been here for a while, thank you. And today, in this video, we are going to talk about a company who has products, has a name, is now changing their name, and still having the same products. And we're going to get into it right after this. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit today about a company out of Kansas City, Missouri. And the reason I want to talk to you about it today is they're going through some changes. So they're changing their branding, they're changing their name, and with that comes getting rid of the old logo, the old products that are labeled, and they're having a 25% off sale to clear out everything they have. The cool part about it is, A, you save 25%, you're gonna get this older looking logo, but the products are not changing, so they're just rebranding, changing the name a little bit, and rebranding to something new. The products are all gonna be the same, uh, made in-house, uh, from the labeling to the product, pouring, blah, blah, blah. All that good stuff is all done by him and his wife. So I've had an opportunity to use this stuff for quite a while now, actually. I ordered some a long time ago, uh, just one cent. I actually ordered uh, the wagon wheel here. So the wagon wheel is vanilla and sandalwood. And when I smell vanilla and sandalwood, I kind of get skeptical because I'm like, eh, I don't really like sandalwood. But the way that the vanilla mixes with this is actually a really good vanilla sandalwood scent. So I really like uh, the wagon wheel scent. And when we talk about ingredients and carrier oils, he uses nine different carrier oils in here from argan oil, jojoba, vitamin E, almond, apricot, avocado, pumpkin seed, hemp seed, grape seed. That's a lot of goodness right up in one bottle, right? He also has one called Farmer's Reserve. Now, Farmer's Reserve is uh, whiskey and caramel, and this is probably my favorite that I've got from him. You do get a little bit of whiskey in the scent, but when you get it in your beard, more of that sweetness comes out of the caramel. It's actually a pretty sweet scent, and that's gonna be my favorite out of all of them, is the Farmer's Reserve, caramel and whiskey. And then you have Ranch Hand, Ranch Hand right here. So you see this, this is frankincense with amber and mirth, 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 that word. And it smells clean. I guess you get a lot more of the frankincense. It almost smells too clean to me when I get it. I get it might be that mirth, mirth. It might be that in there. I don't know. This isn't my favorite. I can tell you that. It's not my favorite out of the two, but if you like a cleaner scent, um, something that smells really clean, a little bit unique, um, that one could be for you. So the balm here, you can see that it's white. It's really soft and creamy. Like this comes out so easy out of the tin. So easy it comes out and it's so creamy in the hand. It feels really good. And you have a lot of the same benefits as the carrier oils in the oil. So you have naturally refined shea butter, white beeswax, and then all the carrier oils from the oils as well. The only thing, my knock with this would be, I would recommend getting different tins. I don't like these like pull top tins. They're just not my style. I'd rather twist, you drop these, sometimes they pop open. Uh, but the oils, are decent and I really don't want to talk about design or anything like that because he's going through a rebranding um, they're changing the name the new logo looks hot so expect that to be coming end of August or so but it, they also have a wash uh, I, I've used their wash they also have a wash and a co-wash again old labeling here but the scent is really good it's the same so uh, right here I have the wagon wheel which is the vanilla and sandalwood and that's pretty much exactly what I get out of this uh, on the co-wash. And it left my beard feeling nice. The wash was pretty stripping. 
Um, so definitely pick up the wash co-wash bundle if you're going to purchase from them. But everything right now, 25% off. I don't know why we wouldn't take advantage of that. It's a good product, and to be able to save 25% just to, because of the old labels and to know that next month at this time it's going to be the same product but with a new label and you don't get the 25% off, right now I would run over there. I would clear them out with the 25% off just because you can and you could save 25% and get some good product. I know they have an Apple one uh, that came out as well. Um, so there was an Apple. I don't have that one to test. I didn't get to experience that one. Uh, but if you're into like sweetness, whiskey, caramel, those type of scents, I'm telling you, this whiskey caramel, it's what I got in beard today. And I can still smell it. It smells pretty good. One of them I did notice, oh, let me see if it was this one. I think it might have been this one. Yeah, I think it's the vanilla sandalwood. Has just a little bit of an after scent that is almost like Play-Doh, uh, but it's nothing bad. It still smells really good, especially for not liking sandalwood. Like this was actually one of the first ones that made me a believer in sandalwood because I've absolutely not liked it. Uh, but, but he kind of made me a believer in sandalwood. So you have a nice Kansas City company that's going through a rebranding and rechanging, doing everything in-house. Also has a laser cutter, so you can get a cool little keychain like this. He made this for me. Um, got my logo on it. So you can get things like that. Um, he also has combs, so you got some wooden comb here. Um, go right up through your man mane like that. So I have three cents. Uh, two of them I liked, one I really liked, one I did not like. Uh, but the balm is good. It To me, it's more of a medium, a little bit to a holding balm. Um, but it's also really softening and conditioning. It's super soft and creamy. And if you like the soft and creamy balms, you'll like that. Um, again, not like probably medium hold. I, I don't think it would go much past medium for, for me and my beard's uh, style. It's worth checking out for 25% off. Um, he's a good guy to talk to. I've seen him live on Instagram a couple times. So if you want to save 25%, this is more of a public service announcement to save you guys 25% and let you know that the Beard Barn is changing names. It's changing names, and it's changing to Farmhouse. So we're keeping the barn theme going, but we're going from, we're going from the Beard Barn to Farmhouse Beard Company. Keeping that theme going, wife designed the new labels, so I'm looking forward to see what the new stuff's gonna look like when it gets put out in bottles, and I'm excited to try that apple scent. So go on over if you're bored this afternoon, check them out, and tune in tomorrow for a new week, new company, and we're gonna see what we have on deck for this week. So grab your coffee, grab your bang, stroke your man mane, and whatever you have in there today. And until I talk to you guys again soon, God bless you all.